first the right way, Jesus, mate, would move. <laughs> I love Jesus. <laughs> the Buddy Christ. <laughs> Chris Hanaika. Hanaika? I think it's Hanaika. Uh, the two-stroke diesel can't be supercharged. The blower just moves air into the cylinder. Unless you speed it up. If you change the gearing, then you will supercharge it. I think the confusion comes from hot rodders adapting blowers from two-stroke diesels onto a four-stroke petrol that uses a supercharger. I didn't actually know they did that. Two-strokes can, can't... I think it's obviously off the Detroit diesels. Two-strokes can't operate with forced induction. Eh, wrong. It's going to blow right through because the exhaust and transfer pots are open when the piston's down at bottom dead centre. There's a video on that, we'll do more on that. We're actually going to fucking physically do it just to shut all these whingy bastards up. Ah, Will. So Will Shoemaker. He's a cunt as well. We'll probably hear more from him. And we will hear more from him in this. Not possible, he was running extremely lean trying to squeeze... Oh, this was... The dino video, someone sent me the dino video of them guys who basically seized the shit out of that um, Honda. Not possible, he says. He was running extremely lean trying to squeeze every ounce of power. I want evidence. How do you know? Yes, he was running it to do a power test and all the rest of it, but how, how, how lean? How many times has he run it like this since the fresh top up and replay? I don't know. What oil was he running? I don't know. This video proves nothing of closing throttle high RPM guarantees lock up. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one said, including me, no one said it guarantees lock up. Then here it comes. With your theory, my KX500, KX250, KDX220, obviously we're cock measuring now, and my KDX200 should have been locked up a long time ago. I better start them. I better just start them and hold them wide open using only the clutch for power control. You, how did you? And then I forgot to press read more when I copied the uh, the uh, actual comment, so we can't see what else you wrote. Um, no one said guaranteed lock up. Uh, Will, mate, if you make a video of revving your bike, any one of these bikes, to 9,000 RPM, racing along, and then just completely shut the throttle, without changing the premix or anything like that, and we'll see if it heat seizes. Uh, Beck 2557, most difficult way to achieve a horizontal opposed two-cylinder two-stroke engine ever. This is on the Gable engine. Um, the most difficult way to achieve a horizontally opposed... It's not an opposed! Fucking hell! Opposed, right, means they're facing each other but opposite each other. Don't you know trigonometry? Look, it's what's opposite and they're facing each other. This isn't the same thing, is it? You fucking retard. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so, the... The Al... Alvaco. Ah, Al... Alvaco, yeah, the Alvaco said... I stood next to this retard with a retard bike the other day and he said I only put 98 octane gasoline in my bike because it lubricates the engine better. Every fibre in my body wanted to smack him. I so wish you were there Matt. I would have loved to stone him to death with you and then go for mopeds or go for race, go racing mopeds or whatever. You ain't going to catch me racing mopeds unless I'm trying to blow the fucking thing up. But the rest of the comment is absolutely hilarious. Uh, it lubricates the engine better. Sweet! J.A. Sam. I don't get this comment, so it's going in the retard box. Engines with direct injection don't lose power. They gain power, torque and efficiency. Well, in regards to EFI slash carbs. I don't know what... Did, did I say that they lose power? I think what you mean is, in the video, and you've misunderstood, to drive a direct injection system for a two-stroke, you are going to have to suck power out of the engine to drive that system. Um, High-pressure pumps do not need... Oh, no. High-pressure pump do need more power, 
but whole system is more efficient, powerful, and parasitic load is probably just a few percent. No! Look, to run a high pressure pump system, you need, I'll, I'll do the maths and I'll fucking show you how much you need. This is why even, you know, this is why um, Bombardier with their skadoos and their heaven roots and all this, they run low compression and they also basically uh, try and squirt the fucking fuel and air into the pore, uh, into the cylinder, just as that exhaust pot closes. And basically they usually face it away from the fucking pot. They're trying to do it with the lowest pressure possible. And it's all to do with evaporation, atomization, and blah blah blah. It's not just as simple as a lot of these turds think it is. So Monday Fool puts, let's imagine a two-stroke engine not running, sitting on a table, throttle closed. Now let's start spinning it with another motor. Fast, slow, whatever. Well, I, if you're going to give an example, you can't just say fast, slow, or whatever. That's a stupid thing to say. If you're making a point, fix the parameters. Will you ever seize or will you ever will it ever seize or break? Of course not. Are you fucking mad? Right. So you've got a two-stroke engine sat here. Let's just say it's your brand new KTM TPI engine. And then I st stick a fucking, I don't know, a seven horsepower electric motor to it. Gear the shit out of it so it's high RPM. And we get this engine to spin with the throttle closed at high RPM. Them rings are gonna fucking melt to that cylinder and the piston is gonna seize like a motherfucker in no time. You know, one day I'll, I'll just do it. We'll get a shitty old two stroke engine and I'll just fucking kill it just to see your face. Crankcase will fill with oil and fuel because there isn't enough air flowing to atomize and carry it away. Look! Oh! If you have a oil feed system, that is based off the arm, the crankshaft rotation, then yes, you will bleed an oil into that cylinder, right? But it will dribble into it and sit at the bottom. The piston at the top is not getting that oil. It's not a top feed system. It's not a four stroke, right? The difference with a four stroke is the pump is connected to the crank through a series of gears, and if you turn the crank, it is turning that oil pump, and it will pick up oil, and it will send it to the head. Fuck's sake, two strokes, they require airflow to distribute the oil everywhere. That's why if you want to not fuck around with the, the simplest way, if you want to not fuck around, you stick it pre-mix. Because the fuel goes through the entire system, into the crankcase, in transfer port, into the cylinder, gets burned and gets pushed out of the exhaust. I don't know what people don't understand about this. Crankcase will fill with oil and fuel because there isn't enough airflow to atomize and carry it away. All the fuel and it will pool inside the crankcase. Yes, but the piston rings need oil, you dickhead. And so does the cylinder. Fucking hell. Think about a four-stroke for a second. A four-stroke has oil squirters that squirt at the bottom of the piston. The piston itself has oil control rings. The pistons have oil scraper rings. Why would you need all this oil-based stuff? Why do you need oil seals for your fucking... Um, inlet, uh, your exhaust and inlet valves usually the inlet. But why do you need exhaust, uh, oil seals everywhere on your fucking engine? <sighs> now go wide open throttle for some time and then close the throttle and thus the cooling of the air mixture is a whole different thing. Endurance bikes have, which is true, yeah, and I, like I say it's missing out the video, I don't know where the fuck it's gone. Endurance bikes just have to take the abuse and be tuned accordingly. It's not like you can pull the clutch all the time when you're in a corner. Uh, it is especially problematic on go-karts which do not have a clutch. Do not have a clutch? What, your go-karts are just fucking engine, that's it, you start it and off it goes. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. So, we've got Will Shoemaker again. Let's highlight him. Sweet. Review Guru. So basically, Review Guru and Will Shoemaker, you are the fucking two dumbest people on the comments, I swear to God. You are correct. Oh, this is awesome. But I only have 16 years experience of racing because now you know how an engine works. You know, I've been, I've had a heart for over 30 years now. Uh, quite a bit over 30 years. I've, I'm, I'm not releasing my age. <laughs> People keep on asking. Um, yeah, my heart's been beating for over 30 years now. That makes me a heart surgeon. I've got one. 
it works, I've been using it for a long time, it makes me a heart surgeon, obviously. And wrenching, or and wrenching on only eight of my personal bikes and countless others. Well, the fact that you say wrenching makes it sound just a bit cowboy, but I know what he means, but still. I also don't have a whiteboard with a head gasket resting on it, therefore I'm an idiot. You can buy a whiteboard and you can buy any head gasket and lean it against it, it'll still make you a fucking idiot. <sighs> Dean XM1 says, I'm sorry but you're wrong, oiling a two-stroke engine and getting it to pass emissions is stupid simple. Oh is it? That's why everyone's struggling. I think you need to tell KTM and everybody else. Unless that's a joke, I'm sorry, if you're taking the piss out of someone else, that's awesome. <laughs> Mike Grady says, this is talking about Motorman and his uh, 14th and 20th place finishes. 11 riders, he passed them backwards when he got lapped. <laughs> oh, right, we'll get into the, the juicy ones. I do like these. Uh, these are just fucking awesome. Mice1M1 says, you are an idiot, do some research. A four-stroke has cam overlap. Oh, I think this is brilliant. Both valves open at the same time. I think both valves are open at the same time, not both valves open at the same time. As in, both valves are open, not they open the same time. That would be stupid. And a two-stroke... A two-stroke exhaust charge doesn't cause a vacuum you need to recover fresh fuel, which the exhaust pipe runs back into the cylinder. Supercharging the engine. I was a two-stroke state champ cycle rider that built my own pipes and all my own engine mods, which I wouldn't have been if I was as stupid as you. Best regards. A two-stroke... So because you win competitions, which we have no evidence for, prove it. I'm not saying you don't, I'm saying I don't fucking know, prove it. Um, just because you win again, I've got a heart. Number one heart surgeon. Uh, yeah, so I don't. Two stroke exhaust charge doesn't cause a vacuum, you need to recover just fresh charge with an exhaust pipe runs back into the cylinder. You just you need to learn how to put your sentences together because I can't make heads or tails of that. Next one is from. Clevis VN, breaking news, to give you all a tech edge over your competition, instead of fully synthetic for your hard braking period, replace the manufacturer's recommended oil with a high, perform with high performance seawater. Accelerate your hard braking per uh, period by 100%. In fact, you will reach the end of your useful engine life in record time. For even faster result results, why not add a little epoxy resin to your cooling system? Awesome, love it. CO2, oh, so it's NB Caller again, CO2 is not pollution, it does not cause climate change, and you have your PhD in stupid, or is it, you're just an amateur at it? <sighs> so, CO2 is not pollution, pollution is one of the things where it's not like saying this is iron and this is aluminium, pollution is a, a turn of phrase, it's like saying the word weed, or foreign body. You could say that um, an earring in a, you know, your bird's ear or something is a foreign body, but if she wants it there, it is still a foreign body, but she wants it there so it's not a problem. You're not going to rush her into hospital and rip out her earring. You know, if, you're, if you have a garden full of nettles and that's exactly what you want, then a rose or a poppy is going to be the weed. It's the same thing with pollution. We have levels that are good for us and levels that are bad for us with anything. You know, oxygen. If you have an oxygen level that's 80%, we would call that toxic. Um, you know, it, it just depends what it is. If you had an oxygen level of 80%, it'd be fucking dangerous. You wouldn't have a fag. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? The fact of the matter is, is anything... It, it, pollution is what we call it. It's one of them, you know, it's that kind of terminology. If we decide that we're polluting something, we're doing whatever, then that's what we call it. So CO2 can quite easily be pollution. So we've got Dan Henderson. Wow, well, Dan Henderson is a fucking retard. 
It, please, Dan, keep on leaving your comments. You'll fill this eventually. Synthetic two-stroke coil has barely any measurable emissions. Once again, it's not the 1970s. Uh, give me a study on that. Cost two-stroke that has emissions. You dickhead. You're burning hydrocarbons. Idiot. And it's not just the it's not just the oil. It's not just the hydrocarbons. It's all the shit they put in the oil to give it stability, to give it stiction, to give it. Um, oh, what, what's that other thing? I can't remember the other word for it. Where's number four? Crazy old woman. Right then. Where were we? Oh, two straw coils. Um, yes, there's loads of stabilizers, there's loads of this, that and the other. It's not just simply a mineral oil. And the synthetic ones um, have all sorts of shit in them. That's how they can work, that's how they can reduce your uh, premix um, levels because they have other chemicals that do all these things that they add to them. What are they? I don't know all of them off the top of my head. And not only that is it's, it's a proprietary a bl blend, so you won't be able to find out anyway. It's probably got Red Bull in it. Dan Henderson again, we might as well look at these are really short, so he's got three here. The 1.5 litre direct injected Honda Civic engine destroys everything in your video. Keep up. What do you mean it destroys everything in my video? And actually, if you look at that direct injection, you turd, it directs, it, it injects at the bottom of the intake stroke, you fucking penis. So no, you're talking shite. Uh, Dan again says L O L uh, L O O L. I think he fucking went on the keyboard because he was too busy fucking rubbing his balls. I haven't seen a puff of smoke from any of my two strokes for decades. Decades! <laughs> decades! Um, we used synthetic oil. We used synthetic oil in 2007. Well, decades wasn't 2007, was it? Decades were put in the fucking 1990s. You tit. It is a 1975 castor bean oil. I haven't seen a puff of two smoke from any of my two strokes for decades. It's like oxygen. I haven't seen oxygen. Eight years ago, no. Six years ago I saw some liquid oxygen. I haven't seen any since. Don't need it. It's bullshit. Don't need oxygen to breathe. The fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? Don't need oxygen. It's all lies. Uh... Yes, here we go. Uh, Will Shoemaker again. You're becoming a star, dude. Not really. There's thousands upon thousands of people who ne negligent. Ne I, can't, I hate saying this word. Negligently, negligently discharge their firearms. Operator error. There are thousands of people who own Subarus that drain the tranny and overfill the engine oil when they are trying to change the engine oil. I'd love if you could put a sentence together. How many people do you think own, ride or race two-stroke and can properly jet it, ride it and maintain it? Do two-strokes pull vacuum? Uh, do two-strokes not pull a vacuum? Ha ha ha! It's a very good question actually. He's been a dick and I didn't press read more, you can see from the fucking thing. Ever torn down, and I think he says a two-stroke oil and seen a little pool. I think he said, ever torn down a two-stroke oil and seen a little pool of oil in the bottom? Yes, because you allow your engine to fucking slow down. That's what you do. You don't go, and then just literally fucking just shut the throttle, and then that's it. You don't do that. What you can do is if you turn off, see, if you turn the key off, or not the key off, if you kill the fucking, uh, turn the key, if you if you hit the kill switch button, what happens is, is the engine stops firing. You've cut the ignition circuit. So what happens is, is your piston starts going out now, but then there is no additional heat being had, added to the whole system. Whoo! Right. Uh, Cracky06 says pistons are connected. Oh yes, so we were talking about the Gable engine and I was talking about people going opposed pistons and it's two pistons and I said no it's one piston it's just got two ends and he goes and I said you know the opposed pistons I said the pistons are connected together it's one single piston it's one single piston it's like two but connected together to make one and he goes pistons are connected in every engine don't, don't make them one piston and I said, what a stupid comment. Pistons are connected in every engine. Doesn't make them one piston. Oh, fucking hell, fire. I ain't got an example. You see, yes, I have. 
You see, this is a ratchet. Are you ready? What's his name? Dickhead. This is a ratchet. This is an extension bar. You see how they go together? Now that is still two components of an assembly, right? But that is one end and that is another. This is one continuous piece. Even though this is an assembly because it has a little ball and spring, if we take that ball and spring out, this is one continuous piece. I hope you have learned how to count. I cannot believe we're doing this, you fucking, fucking retard. <sighs> Kevin Collins puts, there's no need to kill 90% of the population. Just remove the law and labels off everything and the problem will sort itself out fairly quickly. Awesome.